please hit that subscribe button. Hey everybody. Better suited to win the Stanley Cup. This is you are new to the channel, the Washington Capitals, the Boston Bruins. Locked out and he scores! And we're live. Hey everybody. So we're almost a week into NHL free agency now, and most of the big names have come off the board as far as free agents go. Hall is signed, Petrangelo signed, Krug is signed, Holtby signed, and whatnot. Uh, and most of the big names and a lot of the free agents have found new homes for next season. But there still are some pretty decent players out there still available in free agency. And in this video, I want to look at the five best players still available in 2020 NHL free agency as of the making of this video. So obviously free agency is open and any of these guys could sign at any time. So uh, this is just as of recording of this video because literally 10 minutes from now, as soon as I finish this, one of these guys could sign. So um, just want to throw that out there. But these are the five players or the, what I think are the five best players that are still available in free agency as of right now. So uh, before we get into it, I just ask that you please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Both of those things really help out a lot and are very, very much appreciated. But let's get into it here. Starting at number five where I have defenseman Sammy Vatanen. He spent last year split between the New Jersey Devils and the Carolina Hurricanes. Um, Vatanen's had a rough go of it with injuries um, recently. He he was a When he was in Anaheim, he was a highly sought-after top-four D-man, but injuries have really derailed his career. And, um, you know, he's, he's, he's just struggled over the past couple of seasons. However... I still think he could be a solid number four or number five defenseman in the lineup for a lot of teams. He played 47 games last year, had five goals, 18 assists for 23 points, and uh, that was all with New Jersey in the regular season. He played with Carolina in the playoffs. Um, yeah, I still think Votnin could be a decent addition to a defense core, especially if you already have a solid core in place and are just looking to add one more piece to it. Votnin, I think, could be a really good guy to add, and I think um, he's the best defense defenseman still available um, in these uh, in uh, in this free agency. Number four, I have Anthony Duclair, a winger who played last year with the Ottawa Senators. He, in 66 games played last year, he had 23 goals and 17 assists for 40 points. It was a big, big year for Anthony Duclair. Ottawa was unable to come to an agreement with him, and he hit the free agent market. Now, one thing that makes Duclair so uh, interesting on the open market is he's only 25 years old. That is young for someone to be hitting free agency. Um, he's, but he's a full UFA. He is not an RFA. And... Um, he, uh, he can sign with any team. He had a big year goal scoring wise last year. Now, the consistency has been an issue for Anthony Duclair in his career. And I certainly think there's some questions as to, you know, whether he's going to follow that up with another 20 plus goal season. Uh, I think their teams are hesitant to give him a long term contract or any sort of big money. Um, and I certainly understand why. But Anthony Duclair is a good player who's young, has a lot of offensive talent, and would be a really nice middle-of-the-lineup addition for a lot of teams. So uh, I would expect teams that are looking for goal scoring, uh, particularly I think of a team like the Minnesota Wild. I think of a team like um, you know, possibly the Calgary Flames, maybe the Edmonton Oilers. Anthony Duclair would be an interesting option there at what should be a fairly low cost to bring in a 20 goal scorer. Number three, I have Mikhail Granlund coming out of Nashville. He can play center or he can play wing. That is a very good attribute and versatility to have. He played 63 games with the Predators last year, only had 17 goals and 13 assists for 30 point, points. Mikhail Granlin did not fit well in Nashville. That was not a good fit from the start. He did not put up good numbers with the Predators. But if you go back to his days for the Minnesota Wild, he was a 60-plus point player in Minnesota. So Mikhail Granlin certainly has the talent, certainly has the ability to be a second liner in the NHL and a very good second liner in the NHL. 
So I think it's going to be big for him to get out of Nashville to get a fresh start somewhere else. I think there's going to be plenty of teams in on Mikhail Granlin, and I'm honestly a little surprised that he hasn't signed yet. Obviously, last year was not good. It was a very down year for him. But as long as he's not asking for you know a lot of money, it, he could sign a one or two year kind of show me type contract and have a big bounce back year for a new team next season. So I think Granlin is the third best player still available. At number two, we have right wing Evgeny Dadanov coming from the Florida Panthers. Um, he played 69 games last season with Florida and uh, scored 25 goals, 22 assists for 47 points. And f I could potentially see him just re-signing with the Panthers, um, but there's certainly going to be other teams in on him as well. Um, Evgeny Dadanov is proven to be a really good goal scorer. Uh, now he is a little bit older. He's 31 years old. So I don't think he's going to get a long-term deal or anything like that. Um, but he's a guy who in his three years back in the NHL has scored 28 goals, 28 goals, and 25 goals. So he's a guy that you know you're going to get 20 goals from. You're going to get around 50 points from and uh, I think on a one or two year deal, he could still be a really solid pickup for a lot of teams around the league, particularly teams looking for scoring. And finally, that brings us to number one, where I think the number one best player still available in free agency is defenseman Cody Ceci. <laughs> I couldn't even say that with a straight face. Just kidding. It's left wing Mike Hoffman coming also from the Florida Panthers, and another guy who could potentially just go back to Florida, but there's certainly going to be other teams in on him as well. I think Boston comes to mind. I think Columbus comes to mind. Teams that were potentially kicking the tires on Taylor Hall and Tyler Toffoli and missed out on those two will certainly be in on Mike Hoffman. He's been a 30-goal scorer in the past. He's a consistent 20-plus goal scorer. Uh, he had t last season with Florida, he played 69 games. He had 29 goals, 30 assists for 59 points. Mike Hoffman is a legitimate top six winger in the NHL and is going to add a lot of offense to wherever he goes. Um, again, I think, you know, Hoffman kind of waited back to see where Hall went and see where Toffoli went, but I would not be surprised if Mike Hoffman is one of the next guys to sign. I think there's a lot of interest around the league, and he, I would certainly think, is, is the most talented and best player currently available on the market. Almost 60 points last season, almost 30 goals. Um, if it was a full season, he probably would have hit both of those marks. Um, Hoffman is a big-time top-six player, so... Um, certainly, certainly look for him to be signed relatively soon here. And I think there are a lot of teams in search of goal scoring that are going to be in on Mike Hoffman. So with that, guys, those are my top five free agents still available in NHL free agency in 2020, at least as of the recording of this video. Again, these guys could sign at any time. So by the time this video gets out, one or two of them might actually be signed by then, but at least as of right now when I'm doing this, those guys are all still available, and they are some pretty darn good players still on the open market, um, and we're almost a week into free agency here, so... Um Free agency has been a little different this year, I think, because the cap of is not going up and because of everything that's happened this past season. Um, it, it's been a little bit different of a free agency. It wasn't all that everyone sign on day one type thing like it usually is on July 1st. It's been a lot slower developing, a lot more wait and see. And um, teams are really trying to figure out their salary cap situations as well. But with that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon, merchandise store, and donation link are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.